good to be back. After flying a helicopter around the Middle East for the last six weeks, dodging camels on the side of the road, Nigel is finally on his way back to Australia. From camels to kangaroos. He arrived back late at night and we made our way to one of our favourite bush camps, dodging probably a hundred kangaroos on the way there. Get off the road, Skip. <laughs> the road's alive with kangaroos. In this episode, we set off on the final leg of our lap around Australia road trip, heading north from Melbourne. But in typical fashion, rather than driving straight up the motorway, we're driving via the mountains, heading up into the Victorian high country before crossing the border and revisiting Kosciuszko National Park. What adventures will we get up to as we make our way home? Everything's good in the van. Nigel's back. He's making toast. <laughs> <laughs> hey friends, got to bed. Happy days. Don't, Don't get Saudo in Saudi Arabia. Um, and uh, so it's quite exciting. Having some nice Saudo. Vagina might on toast. And, uh, and a good coffee with good oat milk. Simple things in life. That's it. You take for granted. You know, there's, there's barely a noise out here around the bush. Yeah. It's good to be back. Look at this for a beautiful place where we camped last night. We were heading to uh, an actual, well, it's kind of an unofficial free camp, but an actual camp that we know, but someone was already in there. So we've literally just pulled over in this little lay-by on the side of this forest road. We're in the state forest here. Beautiful spot. It's about lunchtime. We've just been catching up talking about our new plans and yeah everything exciting happening super happy that Nigel's back yeah always good to be back so Jeez. how does it feel to be back in a country where you can legally drink beer <laughs> Nigel <laughs> oh yeah I, I just can't do the non-alcoholic beer it's, it's just wrong <laughs> Cheers, you How nice is this one, though? Stone and wood, hazy pale. What's the verdict, mate? Oh, very really yummy. Mm. It's got a bit of um, tropical to it, isn't it? Mm, very nice. nice. Nice little outlook this afternoon. The, the, the dulcet tones of cockatoos. <laughs> <laughs> the next morning, we said goodbye to my family and hit the road. So this is kind of like day one of our last leg. <laughs> it's pretty significant, eh? Yeah. Um, so we're going as far as bright today, which is up in the hills. So yeah, we're, uh, we're into it. And we're two weeks to get to, to Brizzy and, and, uh, and then sort of balls to the wall, so to speak. Yeah, anyway, we'll come to that later. Eventually, we got to the beautiful fresh air of Bright and made our way to a free camp. So our final van life trip is off to a great start. We stopped off in the town of Bright at Woolworths to just pick up a couple of groceries, well mainly toilet paper, that I forgot to get yesterday and we heard this horrible noise like our pump was running. So we checked and none of the taps were on so we had to go outside um, so I'll show you so this is the campsite where we're staying at it is Easter Sunday today so it's kind of packed and I'm also a little bit scared because there's lots of bees here and I'm actually allergic to bees there were all these bees buzzing around just here before but I'll go out the back of the van because Nigel's just been really good and been fixing 
the little problem. Well done. You done, mate? Yeah. Look, there's even a sign over there that says bees. <coughs> the out outdoor shower pipe was um, was rubbing on. Um, was rubbing on on this uh, tow bar piece, and, just, and I've got a I've got a bit of um, padding around there yeah. because we've got quite a bit of extra hose. I just I just unthreaded it and then just use that slack and oh, okay. cut off the uh, the melted bit. So yeah, that was good. That was good. Nice. Good, good timing, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to deal with that one. Well, the bad news was that we did lose um, maybe about a quarter of our water tank during that little episode. So we had to find somewhere in Bright to fill up, which we managed to do. But yeah, anyway, so it's a nice campsite. You can hear the sound of the river. And, and, and the sound of... Uh, what, Nigel? Nothing. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it's a few revelers, that's all right. It's Easter. <laughs> it's Easter and it's holidays. And... Yeah, it's school holidays and it's Easter, so there's a lot of people here, a lot of people having a lot of fun. Yeah. It's all good. Time is 2.41 p.m. <laughs> and we're just getting ready to leave camp. What are we like? Yeah, and I've just been pottering, trying to fix his bike this morning. I've been working. We've watched a steady stream of people leaving this campsite, which is awesome um yeah so i think well we may come back here tonight we might check out the one a little bit closer to bright which is at germantown but apparently that's smaller so this is nice here smoko not a bad spot at all so we're just going back a little bit just to show you how disgusting some people are driving along and we see this campsite and we're like look at all the wood they left maybe we'll camp there tonight and then we noticed they also left their bloody porta potty here. That is disgusting, people. Disgusting. We went for a ride on some of the local trails. Well, let's just say Nigel Road. I feel like I spent most of my time pushing my bike. <laughs> oh, so disappointing. I got stuck going up that steep bit. You're supposed to ride, aren't you? What? <laughs> Shut up. Or I'll push you over and you can break your ass again. Oh, that's not very nice. Well, you're not being very nice either. <laughs> you big meanie, go, go. Oh. <laughs> Let's be honest, he can be a bit mean, but at least he helped me get up when I was stuck halfway up this little hill. Oh, oh shit. What do you reckon, Susie? Another town? Another day, another... Another brewery. What have they got? Alpine Lager, Bright, Pale Ale, Amber Ale, Ibiza, Where's the hazy? Porter. I'll we'll find something. No alcohol. To wet our whistle. Gin. After our massive bike ride. <laughs> 20 taps of craft beer. Oh, well, there you go. Through Bright, here in Bright. So, it took us a bit of a while to figure out which beer to have. <laughs> but the fellow, like, you know, it's really busy over there. But he took the time and spoke to us and let us have a sample. So, should I do this? Should I? Yeah. So, you know, yeah, big thumbs up to Bright Brewery for that. So yummy. We have spent the morning doing some work in the van. It's, well, I say morning, it's now 1.30. <laughs> We're just getting ready to take a drive up to Mount Buffalo to go for a hike. Hopefully, weather will be okay. We're in this same campsite here at Smoko, and as you can see, it's really thinned out. There's only a couple of other campers here. We actually came into this spot. Sadly, there's a bit of rubbish and where the people left their toilet. Nigel at least went and turned the, um, shut the lid. So we've got the awning out a little ways today because we did have a little bit of rain earlier. But up on top of the mountains, it's not looking too bad. We're going quite a bit further to Mount Buffalo. But, but this is a really cool campsite here. So if you're in the Bright area, there is one um, just outside of Bright at Germantown, a free camp. But then this one's a little bit further, just past the town of Smoko. Is there a more Australian 
place name than Smoko. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, this, so this is a free camp. There's a t drop toilet here, no other facilities. But yeah, it's, um, it's been really good. Even on busy Easter Sunday night, it wasn't too bad. Everybody quietened down by about 10.30, 11. And last night it was, well, it was just the rain that kept us up. And today we're going for a drive up Mount Buffalo. It's beautiful, mountain scenery, alpine. We've got a break in the weather, which was, which is great because they were talking rain all day. Hopefully we're not up in the clouds when we get up there. So, it's well, freezing, friends. Well, one extreme to the other. It was <laughs> hot as a carrot yesterday. I was um, watching people jumping in the swimming pools around Bright. Yeah. Well, we are here. We are. High. So we're you? going to the cathedral oh. hump, which is, I think, that one up there in the clouds. <laughs> mm. oh. Anyway. Let's do it. And <clears throat> I can't find my gloves. I was swore they were in this pocket, but they're not. And well, if there's any consolation, these are kind of useless. <laughs> <laughs> it is a bit of a consolation because I might be having to make you give me your gloves. <laughs> <laughs> One hour return. Cathedral and the hump. We're about half an hour late. You can maybe just see the outline just there, but... Yeah, might be like Mount Oberon, but that's the cathedral. <laughs> so a lot of steps, <laughs> kind of warming up, Nige. Is that you warming up? Yeah. Pretty cool, actually, doesn't it? We're it does through that cloud. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it'd be nice to actually see it. <laughs> and then, just for a short moment, the clouds cleared. That's neat. Ah! I'm staying here. Is that it there, the cathedral? No. Ah, uh, yeah, it is. Wow. Yeah, that's it. I'm listening. Kind of getting uh, blown away here. I'll, I'll pass back to you. <laughs> I don't like it. Nigel, hurry up! I need you to help me down. All oh, right, uh, okay, come, come on. Well, far out. This is scary. Okay, well, that's pretty cool, though. Yeah. See it from uh, this, this side. And it's disappeared in the cloud again. I'll just go quickly back. Oh it's God! Kinda, yeah, she's gone again. You're right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <You did. laughs> no, I'm all right now. 
You didn't come when I was at the scary part. <laughs> My boobs were getting in the way on that bloody big oh, boulder. Uh, you didn't have boobs in the way. It's just wicked. There, here comes the cloud again. This is how you do it, folks. <laughs> On your bum. <laughs> Elegant as ever. That's it. Doesn't matter how you get up or down. It's not. It's fit you get, you get up and down. That's it. Right. Beating everyone on the couch, mate. That's it. Yeah, we've had the rain for the last 20 minutes or so, so pretty happy to be back at the van. Yeah, this rain. Hopefully Sue's not too far behind. Well, we're back. In the nick of time. Kind of a bit like a drowned rat. It's getting a bit wet. It's very wet. I'm going to shake off this jacket. Hopefully the, camera, the camera's nicely yeah, hidden away there. That'll be all okay. I have mine tucked in my jacket. Yeah. Oh. Cold and wet, but what an incredible experience. It's going to be a slow old trip back down. Mm. The van is keeping us on our toes. Well, poor Nigel has to try and fix why this tap, well, bit of hose at the outdoor shower here keeps leaking. And it shouldn't be doing what it's doing. Because you, you, you shouldn't just be able to pull, pull that out. <sighs> no. Uh, now I can't push it back in here. <laughs> Stupid bloody thing. It, it shouldn't. Now it won't come fully out. Then it won't go back in. So the, 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 the actual connectors are not working properly. Uh -huh. oh, my oh. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Join us next week when we cross the Murray River and head back into New South Wales. We spend the night at one of our favourite free camps from our entire lap of Australia and Nigel hikes to one of the most precarious lookouts we've ever seen. If you want to learn more about our trip around Australia, check out this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.